Today, we're diving deep into the world of bathrooms, where history, innovation, and the peculiar collide. Buckle up as we count down the top six most bizarre bathroom facts that will leave you saying, no way, and, I never knew that. Picture this. You're in ancient Rome, strolling through the bustling marketplaces, and you come across a vendor selling a peculiar object known as a tersorium. Now, what on earth is a tersorium, you ask? Well, my friends, it was their ingenious invention for toilet paper. But it's not like the soft, fluffy rolls we use today. Oh no! The Romans took a truly hands-on approach to personal hygiene. The tersorium consisted of a sea sponge affixed to the end of a stick. Yes, you heard it right. A sponge on a stick combo. Talk about resourcefulness. When nature called, the Romans would grab their trusty tersorium, moisten it in water, and use it for their cleaning needs. It was an ancient version of toilet paper that required a hands-on approach to get the job done. Now, you might be wondering, how did they maintain hygiene standards? Well, fear not. The Romans understood the importance of cleanliness and took great care of their tersorium. In fact, they would clean and sanitize the sponges regularly to prevent any unpleasant surprises. Can you imagine the discussions they had about sponge quality and the latest cleaning techniques at ancient marketplaces? It must have been quite the topic of conversation. So, the next time you unroll your soft, fluffy toilet paper, take a moment to appreciate the innovative nature of the ancient Romans and their trusty tersorium. It may not be the most conventional approach by today's standards, but it certainly showcases their resourcefulness and problem-solving skills when it came to the art of personal hygiene. And there you have it, our first mind-boggling bathroom fact, the ancient Roman tersorium, a sea sponge on a stick that revolutionized their version of toilet paper. Hold on to your toilet seats because we're about to unveil another fascinating bathroom history fact. Let's rewind the clock and travel back to ancient Mesopotamia, the cradle of civilization. Did you know that the ancient Mesopotamians had an advanced sewage system in place thousands of years ago? Picture yourself in the bustling streets of an ancient Mesopotamian city, where life thrived along the banks of great rivers like the Tigris and Euphrates. These innovative civilizations understood the importance of proper sanitation and implemented an impressive sewage system that was far ahead of its time. The Mesopotamians constructed an intricate network of canals and underground drains that effectively carried wastewater and sewage away from the populated areas. They even had separate systems for wastewater and stormwater management. Talk about ancient urban planning at its finest. But wait, there's more. The Mesopotamians were also ahead of their time when it came to personal hygiene. They recognized the importance of cleanliness and developed an early form of soap made from a mixture of ash, animal fat, and water. They understood that good hygiene was essential for maintaining health and well-being. So, the next time you step into a modern bathroom with its advanced plumbing and hygiene products, remember the ancient Mesopotamians and their remarkable achievements in sanitation. They set the foundation for the systems we have today and understood the importance of keeping our surroundings clean. Get ready to step into the medieval era as we uncover the mysterious world of the garderobe. Imagine yourself in a majestic medieval castle, surrounded by towering stone walls and grand halls. But amidst the splendor, there lies a peculiar chamber known as the garderobe. Now, the name might sound fancy, but what exactly was it? Well, my friends, it was the medieval version of a restroom, albeit with an unexpected twist. In these castles of old, people would relieve themselves into a hole within the garderobe chamber. But here's where things get interesting. That hole didn't lead to a sewer system or simply disappear into thin air. Oh no! It led to a pit, a deep pit beneath the castle, where all the waste would accumulate over time. But wait, there's more. The garderobe wasn't just used for bodily functions. It served as a multifunctional disposal system. People would not only relieve themselves into the pit but also drop unwanted items down there. 
Yes, you heard it right. Broken pottery, rotten food, and sometimes even deceased animals found their way into the depths of the Garderobe pit. Can you imagine the surprises that awaited archaeologists when they discovered these medieval Garderobe pits? So, the next time you visit a castle or explore the medieval history, remember the peculiar and somewhat surprising nature of the Garderobe. It was more than just a simple restroom, it was a fascinating glimpse into the lives and habits of our ancestors. And there you have it, our fourth mind-boggling bathroom fact, the medieval Garderobe, a place where bodily functions and unwanted items found their way into a deep pit beneath the castle. Stay tuned as we continue our journey through the top six bizarre bathroom facts that will leave you amazed and intrigued. Buckle up as we fast forward to the 19th century and uncover the man behind a name that is forever associated with toilets, Thomas Crapper. Picture yourself in the Victorian era, a time of innovation and progress. In the midst of this period, one man, Thomas Crapper, an English plumber, would rise to fame and leave an indelible mark on the history of bathroom fixtures. Some text goes here now. You might be thinking, Crapper? Yes, my friends, you heard it correctly. Thomas Crapper, with a name that elicits chuckles and raised eyebrows, played a pivotal role in popularizing the modern flush toilet. Thomas Crapper wasn't the inventor of the flush toilet itself, but he made significant advancements and improvements to the existing design. His innovations revolutionized our bathroom experience, making every flush a moment to remember. Thanks to Thomas Crapper, we now had toilets with efficient flushing systems that greatly improved sanitation and eliminated the need for manual labor-intensive methods of waste disposal. He introduced features such as the ballcock mechanism and the siphonic flush, making our trips to the bathroom much more convenient and hygienic. So, the next time you find yourself sitting on a comfortable porcelain throne, remember the name Thomas Crapper. His contributions to the evolution of toilets have left an enduring legacy, even if his name might draw a few giggles. And there you have it, our third astonishing bathroom fact, Thomas Crapper, the English plumber who popularized the modern flush toilet. Stay tuned as we continue our journey through the top six bizarre bathroom facts that will leave you amazed and intrigued. Imagine being an astronaut, floating in the vastness of space, surrounded by zero gravity. Now, you might be thinking, wait, how do they handle their bathroom needs in space? Well, my friends, it's a challenge that requires some out-of-this-world engineering. In space, the absence of gravity poses a unique problem for astronauts when it comes to using the bathroom. Regular toilets, as we know them on Earth, wouldn't work in this weightless environment. So, what's the solution? Astronauts rely on specially designed suction-based systems that ensure nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, floats around the cabin. These space toilets utilize powerful suction to draw waste into a sealed container, preventing it from escaping into the cabin. It's like a high-tech vacuum cleaner for bodily waste. And let me tell you, the engineers behind these systems deserve a round of applause for their ingenuity. So, the next time you're sitting comfortably on Earth, spare a thought for our space-faring adventurers who have to deal with the unique challenges of bathroom breaks in zero gravity. It's a toilet that truly defies gravity. And there you have it, our second astonishing bathroom fact. Astronauts in space utilize suction-based systems to handle their bathroom needs. Stay tuned as we continue our journey through the top six bizarre bathroom facts that will leave you amazed and intrigued. And now, for the grand finale, our number one bizarre bathroom fact takes us back to Japan. Picture this, you enter a public restroom, and as you do your business, you notice the sound of flushing water playing from a sound machine. Why? Well, these sound machines are designed to mask any potentially embarrassing noises. It's like a symphony of discretion, creating an ambience where bathroom shyness can be set aside. Yes, that's right. We're diving deeper into this fascinating phenomenon. In Japan, the art of bathroom discretion reaches extraordinary heights. 
Some public restrooms go above and beyond by installing sound machines that simulate the sound of flushing water. The purpose? To ensure that any potentially embarrassing noises you make during your private moments are masked, leaving you free from any judgment or discomfort. It's truly a symphony of discretion, where each stall becomes a private oasis of sound. You can breathe easy, knowing that the gentle sound of rushing water fills the air, harmonizing with the natural rhythm of your bodily functions. Whether it's a gentle trickle or a mighty roar, these sound machines ensure that your bathroom experience remains a private affair. It's a testament to the Japanese commitment to creating a considerate and respectful society, even in the most private of spaces. And while it may seem like a quirky novelty, it's a practical and thoughtful solution to a common human experience that transcends cultural boundaries. So, the next time you find yourself in a public restroom in Japan, take a moment to appreciate the symphony of discretion that surrounds you. Let the sound of flushing water envelop you in a world where bathroom shyness is left at the door. It's a testament to the creativity and innovation that can be found in the most unexpected places. And with that, we conclude our journey through the top six bizarre bathroom facts. From ancient Rome to modern day Japan, we've explored the fascinating and sometimes peculiar aspects of our bathroom history. We hope these revelations have brought a smile to your face and sparked a newfound curiosity about the world we inhabit, even in its most private corners. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening adventure. Remember, while pooping is here to keep you entertained, informed, and inspired, even when nature calls. So, until next time, keep flushing out knowledge and embracing the wonders that await, even in the bathroom.